Hey, welcome back to the channel. I know I've been slacking with the holidays and uh, Christmas and New Year's. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, got a question earlier about what the heck's going on, and I'm sending a message and come to find out there are some questions about some videos I'd sent them previously, not done by me, and by some other stuff I'd sit there and found out. And let's see if we can't get this deal. All right, so. We're going to call this one, Should I or Shouldn't I? And what the conversation is going to be about is the vaccine that to come out with for, for, for the, the super flu. Whatever you want to call it at this point in time. All right, so, hang on. My GPS is wanting to take notes while we're at it, I guess. So... Let me start out and say this is a video of my opinion, my opinion only. Don't mean you have to agree with it. Uh, I just put it out there with information that I've come across so everybody can, you know, somewhat be informed, misinformed, depending on what side you're on, whatever. So, to start out, months ago, and I even brought this up in some other videos, I had a video sent to me done by an internal medicine doctor. Didn't know who the doctor was, didn't know just how it shows up my watch. She specifically says, don't do it, don't take it, it's got nanotechnology in it, it's going to mess with you, it's a purely 100% synthetic, there's nothing natural in it to do anything summed up deal she she goes through this whole big long deal of it okay so oh about a month or so ago i was sitting there watching a, a jewish nurse lives in tennessee got her own youtube channel very very well educated very well on point about this and she warns that hey if you have the ability to get out of the medical system get out of it and get out of it now why it has to do with this whole little vax thing that's going on you know, why does the government say that they have to convince 30 plus million people to take it? Okay, it's not good. Her big deal was is she has information, access to information that I don't, the average person don't. The only way to get this information is to actually open up a box of it, pull out the pamphlet, which is, oh, about yay long and about that wide because it comes in, you know, a little box for a while. And you unfold it and it turns into a regular full sheet of paperwork. And one of the ingredients, or one of the two ingredients, is MRC5 and MRC13. Now, you look that up, and it'll asterisk, you flip it over, and then you read down through it. Okay, for a fact, you can Google this. MRC5, lung tissue from a 12-week-old aborted male baby. Okay. Just on that purpose right there with my beliefs. No, 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 no. Um, second thing is that they put in there that her big concern was about is what they call RNA. That is a synthetic, back to the um, internal medicine doctor, nanotechnology, DNA. But it's not RNA. You won't find anything out RNA. No, no. Rheumatoid arthritis, all kinds of stuff. You have to type in lowercase m capital R, capital N, capital A. Stands for messenger synthetic DNA, basically, is what it boils down to. M stands for messenger, RNA is the synthetic form of DNA. So that's two things that's in it. All right, so let's study this stuff. All right, so come across a video of Mr. Gates, Microsoft guy that retired, and he says, here's how RNA works. We inject it into you, it comes down, it's going to take a section out of your DNA or add a section to your DNA. Alright, the video is no longer on YouTube, it's considered false, I've got a big false deal in there because it said it's, uh, it's false because he said, you know, Bill Gates admits RNA alters your DNA. Well, he never said that, he said that it will either cut a section out or add a section to it. He never in the video said it. It will alter it. Well, if you're cutting something out or you're adding to it, a little common sense goes a long way there. So, all right. 
to get the rest of the list, you're actually going to have to get your, your hands on that pamphlet. But this is the first truly synthetic vaccine. No, I'm not anti-vax. I had to go through 96 because I lost my shot records when I went in the Army. And they had to give them all back to me again. And then when I got out, I got bad sick. And then they're like, oh, you need the flu shot. So I started getting a flu shot every year. And I'd get two week, two week down, under covers, go to the hospital, sick. Um, so I quit doing that because they're like, well, it's not the flu shot. Something's making me sick. Something. And, the, and they would never owed up to it as a flu shot. So it come down to being an allergic reaction. Fine. Whatever. So if you get this, it's your choice. That's why it's should I or shouldn't I. Um, this morning, early this morning, I was sent another video, and um, if I can attach it real quick, I will. It's a copy deal um, of this lady that goes through. She's part of the housing bubble, and she feels that this is part of a deal to get your person, as in you physically, now that you have a nano computer or whatever they want to call it injected into you that they will be able to pick up your movements or people's movements through these radio towers hence the 5g and some other stuff i, I i'd have to go back rewatch it it's very interesting talks about the pillars of how everybody has to get this how they're trying to get rid of currency and everything else and I'll touch on that on another video later today. But just to give you a, a base choice of this, it's purely synthetic. You can look up the MR5, or MRC5 and MRC13. It is tissue, lung tissue from a 12-week-old male aborted baby. They have to have that protein to wrap the, the, R, the mRNA in. So it goes in. Now... There's also been several things. There's a nurse down in Louisiana that everybody suspected she's dead because she ain't posted on her deal in a long time. She ain't been seen at work. Nobody's talking. Um, there was another nurse, I forget, she, she um, had balls, palsy, paralysis of the face come on. There have been several people in Alaska get it going to anaphylactic shock. So my advice is, is if you're thinking about it, at least do some homework. Um, I've seen tons of videos of like Nancy Pelosi getting on, getting it. It's kind of amazing that there's an orange cap at the end of the needle. Orange cap is usually a safety cap to where you don't poke yourself with the needle. Um, the other day I seen one while I was in Texas and it was um, Kamala Harris getting it. And if you watch the nurse, she slides back and hits something on the arm of a chair and then all of a sudden a blowed up picture of it. So, at this point in time, everybody except a physical, like, nurse or person, any politician says, hey, you've got a shot, you seen it on camera? I'm not buying it. It could have been saline solution, could have been water, could have been nothing, could have been... I mean, trust me, there's a hundred ways they can fake this, especially with cameras and TVs and stuff like that. The other thing that tripped me up with Kamal Harris that got that is when they stuck it in her, they went and pulled the, the syringe, the plunger out, and I'm like... Um, yeah, you'd kill somebody by doing that. I mean, even when they draw blood, they don't pull a plunger out. Um, the only time I've seen them actually pull a plunger out is when they had to hit a soft tissue to give a um, epidural in the back. And that's a very, very tedious deal. And it was actually a needle that they put in there and they hit a spot and then they, as they, they hit bubble it in right as they pull out the plunger the needle and everything comes out and there's a hose left in there that they can actually pit medicine into to numb you from there on out uh but i'm actually on my 30 minute break i gotta do some grocery shopping i'm heading to canada so we're gonna stop this one again thanks to everybody that stuck with us so far and everything we love y'all uh please like share subscribe that helps the algorithms all this stuff get out i know i did a couple other videos that have been totally botched by i don't know the download or or you know something's gone on somewhere we're going to make sure that this one gets on it because uh got the rest of the day to sit there and do it while i finish traveling down the road a little bit and again we love y'all please like share subscribe thanks for hanging out stay safe and no hang on stay vigilant be safe